This is Post Battle Nate, just letting you know that I cut out my original intro because I did it with the charisma of a dirty diaper. This battle is against JV and the, I think it's the Atlanta Victinis. So please go check him out, subscribe uh, to him, subscribe to me, like the video, and enjoy. All right, we are connected. Let's see what Jay has brought. Okay, Bezendipity is here. Um, so we do have to watch out for that. Um, I feel like I'm decently prepared for this team. I think what I want to do is just get up my hazards. Um, I think we're going to just do that. Very interesting. What is he going to lead with? Maybe his Sandy Shocks. Maybe Zarud. You turn out. Either way, I feel pretty good about just going for the, the lead Stealth Rocks with the Focus Sash. I feel pretty safe about that. All right. We're in this game. Pokemon damage calcs are open. Good luck. Have fun. Ham Sandwich. Wow. What an interesting... What an interesting uh, thing. We could just uh, Draco Meteor here. But I feel like he's probably just going to U-turn. Okay, he hard switches. We're going to get up our rocks. Pretty Boy Swag comes in. Here's the Pheasant Dippity. Um, I, there, you know, uh, pretty good feeling that this thing would want to come in to be the check. Um, I'm going to save this. We have uh, a Focus Sash feel pretty good about uh, just holding on to that. I feel like we could just go hard into... No, my Lodic is also really good for me. Really good for me. I was so scared of my Lodic. We're just going to go hard into our Lando. Um, he goes for the U-turn. Um, hopefully we don't get Toxic Chain Burn. That would be, I mean, uh, poisoned. That'd be unfort. Does get the U-turn off. We're gonna see what wants to come in here. Ham sandwich. He's gonna take some rocks. The, the way that this thing came in made me feel like it's going to try to go for like a Willow Wisp. Um, I really feel like this thing wants to Willow Wisp me. Is it is it too much of a too much of a read to go for the? pivot into this i mean i don't want to get burned um this is really good against me one well, no, i think what i have to do here is just go for the earthquake we're just gonna try to get some damage on him yeah, i think we're okay if we get burned we are still we're, we're uh still banded and okay And now I do feel like he, he could U-turn here. He could go out into Moltres. He probably knows that I'm banded. Let me pull a switch out into our um, Lemonhead here. I think he's going to want to go to Moltres. And if even if he does U-turn... Um, I feel pretty good about just uh, hard switching. So I think we'll probably see... Oh, he goes for the Hex. Okay. Um, so I think what I want to do now is just go for the Hard Terra Blast, right? I mean, you, you, I mean, he has no reason not to go Sandy Shocks, right? So we're just going to go Terra Blast here. We're going to get a little bit of uh, some chip. Sandy Shocks comes out. He's going to take some rocks. Uh, we're going to go for a Terra Blast here, and we are going to get some uh, decent chip on that. He does look like he has a little bit of Spadef, though. He does look like he has a little bit of Spadef, though, don't he? Alright, I feel pretty good about just going hard Lando here. He might pull a double. But um, I feel like it's a pretty saff play. We resist both the, both the stabs. You know, our Lando is burned, which does make things a little bit harder for us. But we do have some chip on the 
uh, Dragapult. We do have a, um, what's it called, at Sash, and we don't have to worry about uh, the Sash being broken by spikes. Don't We don't have to worry about Stealth Rocks. So, that's okay. He goes for the Reflect. He is going for... He, he really is trying to... Uh, protect his uh defenses very good uh prep on his part i did not bring anything with um uh with the what's it called with the brick break so um very good for him i think what i want to do now is just go for a u-turn we should be slower than this thing oh this thing does have stealth rocks <laughs> I, I don't know why i thought it only had spikes <laughs> But I feel like now is a good time to um, go out into my uh, FGM and we're going to switch out now uh, back out into Lando. We're going to get our form out and uh, we're going to go from there. We are assault vests. We should be able to take on uh, the what's it called? We should be able to take on... Uh, oh, he goes for tri attack. Okay, very good prep. We both bring in... Oh, he gets the... gets the crit. Okay. Okay, he gets the crit. All right, I see you, big dog. Um... I feel like we still should... We still need to watch out, though. We still need to watch out. We don't want this thing to get too, too crazy. We don't want this thing to get too, too crazy. How do we deal with this? I don't think there's anything we do. We taking rocks when we come back in. Orlando at 42. What is, what is that? Thirteen percent. Okay, we can switch back into uh, to rocks. We 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 only take what twelve percent from rocks, so uh, we could use this one more time. Let's. Um, all right, we're going to, we're going to go out into Palafin here. He's going to switch out here. He goes out into Gander. Who the hell is Gander? Okay. Um, I'm actually okay with this. I think I can flip turn on this. Although... Hmm. I think we flip turn here. I think we flip turn. I think we flip turn and we uh, go for our rapid spin. I feel like this battle is going by very quickly. And, um... Well, not very quickly. But I feel like I'm making my plays quickly with that. Because I'm not even calcing right now. Like, I don't know. How many turns are we in and I haven't calced? Here comes the Mojo Jojo. Great nickname. Absolutely great nickname for this. Okay, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm going to uh, bring in my uh, Ogre Pond here. Great. We needed an opportunity to get Ogre Pond in. Um, we do have Synthesis. We don't have to worry about our uh, taking Stealth Rocks. This is fine. We got the Mold Breaker. We break in the molds. Okay, and I'm just going to click Knock Off. There's no reason for me not to click Knock Off here. Here's the Ogre Pond. We dropping it in. Because what wants to come in and, and take this hit? There's, his team does not like this, right? If Moltres comes in, you're going to take a knockoff. You're going to lose your boots. I get to switch back out into Palafin. Or I could even better switch out into my Regieleki and get a Rapid Spin off. Um, not necessarily for free, but... um. Here comes the ham sandwich. Uh, and, ooh, risky middle ground play. Risky middle ground play. He is going to lose the Dragapult here. Um, I think. Wow, not, okay, I guess not. I guess not. Um, we do know that he is a little bit more defensive, but that Culberberry plus the Reflect is 
Huge! I should be. I should have brought uh, defog, man. I really should have brought defog. Defog. Um. I guess what I could do is I could go out into my my mustache here, and maybe we click toxic. Maybe we click strange stream. Maybe you don't click that because the pheasant dippity probably comes in. Okay, here's the dra okay dragon darts. All right. Um, I mean, he should die to like anything, right? And pheasant dippity probably is the switch here. And you don't really want a hard switch because he. I mean, he did. He didn't go for the U-turn before. So Pheasantipity is probably the switch. And with that in mind, I kind of want to go for the FGM. Oh, I should have gone to, I should have gone, um, what's it called? Let's see. Okay, Pheasantipity comes in. I'm gonna take some He's gonna take some rocks. We're gonna get out into our FGM. I really wish that I would have brought more attack. Like a banded one with, um, oh, he's black sludge, isn't he? He's black sludge. Reflect is gonna wear off. That is great for me. Absolutely great. Um, I think we're gonna flip turn here. Because Zarud wants to come in every single time. Ooh, I could have ice punched. I should have ice punched. But maybe, maybe, maybe now it's time to, uh... Okay, once this is gone, this is great. This is great. I'm ha actually, I'm okay with this. You're gonna bring in Zerud? Fine. Bring in Zerud. Um, I will bring in my... What's it called? I'll bring in my thing. You'll you'll knock me off. You'll take a little bit of Rocky Helmet Chip. Uh, maybe you'll just U-turn, but you're still going to take some Rocky Helmet Chip. Unless you're uh, the what's it called? What is that item called? Protected Pads. That's the that is the name of the item that I'm thinking of. I wonder if he pulls a double here. If he pulls a double, he's probably expecting my uh, my wheezing to come in. So maybe he will switch out into the Fez Dippity, and uh, maybe he has Psychic or something. I don't know. Or maybe maybe he he'll switch out into Lucario. But um, I don't know. We'll see. He just goes for U-turn here. Uh, Lucario coming in would be absolutely devastating because that is a scary Pokemon. That is a scary scary Pokemon, especially with um, Lando being as as low as it is because it can. Uh, he could just kind of uh, swords dance and then he can uh, do some things. But maybe, but maybe we can rapid spin successfully and we'll, we'll have to rely on a um, Hydreigon with the, what's it called? We can, we can get a rapid spin off. Okay, so Terra Normal is a thing. Um... I could just Toxic put him on that timer. Putting him on that timer could be a thing. I think you tear a normal here and try to and try to do something to me. I'm gonna Toxic. I'm scared. This could sweep me just outright. Terra Normal Lucario is very dangerous. I've used Lucario numerous times, and it, it, if you get it in the right position, it can just uh, it can it can really break down things. So uh, I have to be I have to be careful here. Um, we don't have to worry about the Dragapult anymore. We don't really. Oh, he's Lom. Wow, great prep. Uh, I still need to click it again. I need to click it again. 
The fact that I did not bring, uh, I mean, I couldn't really rely, ooh, and he hit that too, and he gets the attack uh, buff. This could be the end. This could be the end here. Because rapid spin uh, is not going to be a thing with extreme speed. Um, we're going to have to swap in and get an intimidate drop off on him. Oh, we can't even do that because of inner focus. All right, we're just going to, I guess, click Earthquake now because I forgot about inner focus. All right, do we just lose here? We could, we might just lose. That Lumberry got us, good. All right. I think we could survive. I think we can uh, survive. Um, and I have to click Draco Meteor. If I, uh, maybe I don't survive. I don't survive. Damn, he got me. Good game, uh, JV. Good game. Um, I definitely under-prepped for that. And honestly, even if I did prep for that, pre like, there, Lucario's very difficult to prep for. You prep for the wrong set, and you are, um, not in for a good time. I feel like he played that pretty well. GG's. He's got me good. He's got me good. There's nothing you could really say about that, you know? Lucario just was a, a really good Pokemon. You know, you find the opportunity for it to come in. You have that thing with the uh, with the berry, you know? Does its thing. So, um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, maybe um, we will make some trades, transactions. I know John Jr. has offered me some things. So, um, I don't honestly don't know if there's, like, I mean, maybe I could switch up the team. But honestly, I just, I think it's just me, man. I think it's just me. When you're, when you don't practice, like, I don't practice, like, like I work, man. Like, I, I have a job, I have a girlfriend, and I, I you know. I spend a lot of time just doing responsibilities around the house, and uh, I don't I don't play this game like I used to. I used to play this game so much, and uh, I I don't. So um, I, I guess that's really my um, my only reason for it. I, I mean, it, it, you guys might say, why are you still doing this? Like, you know, why do why do you you know spend whatever time that you that you have? just losing you know but it's just like i still want to um have pokemon in my life man you know like i i've played pokemon since i was a kid and um you know you just you just you just want to have something left from your childhood you know it, it's kind of hard to explain but it's like when you wake up every day like so early and then you work your it's not it's not a nine to five i get up at like four something in the morning and then I work from like 6 30 to 3 and then by the time I get home and you know by the time by the time it takes me to travel home and then by the time I'm like done in the bathroom you know cleaned up or whatever and then you know you make some food by the time you're done eating the food cleaning up the food and then you know you spend time with family it's like I, I've I don't have the same time as I did when I was like 19 so it's like um or 20. I don't remember exactly how old I was. I was starting to uh, to get into this, but um, you know, it, it's one of those things where I think you have to to practice to to be good, and I don't. And I just hope that you guys can still um, enjoy the battles, and even though like I'm not winning. You know, like maybe you guys at least check out my opponents and enjoy what they have. Um, I, I just want to be part of the community. Um, I just want to um, have friends. 
Um, so, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. All right, peace.